Meet John. If you haven't seen him before in a previous video, let me introduce you to him. He's my brother-in-law, expert fly fisherman, and master of putting me to shame in my own backyard. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? The plan for today was pretty simple. We arrived at the beach at peak low tide and the conditions were looking great. It looks like a lot of people are starting to see halibut return ashore and it's been a long time since I've caught a legal one. So we were gonna throw some jerk baits out with the hope of joining the party. I was gonna throw the Lucky Craft 115 Sexy Smelt and John was gonna throw this Battlestar 115 Glow Sexy Smelt. Just gonna keep walking down this beach. This trough extends for probably four football fields. So there's gotta be something in here, right? Famous last words. All right, we switched it up. I'm going back to the cast master. And John is throwing a Carolina rig with a two inch paddle tail grub. He doesn't come out to fish with me very often. So I want to make sure that he catches a fish. So that's why he's fishing with that. With the change to the paddle tail grub, it didn't take long for John to get on the fish. Here we go. John's on a fish right here on the paddle tail. Little barred surf perch. Fish number two. And so within the next hour or so, he'd hook up on a bunch of barred surf perch. None were keeper size, but still fun to be out there catching fish. We're getting ready to head back to the car. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Apologize for the footage. Accidentally pressed a weird setting on the GoPro. We've got a huge Corbina that John just caught here off the paddle tail grub. Look at that thing. That's amazing. And where did you catch it? How did it? Just right at the drop off, like five feet from me, just wham. Wow, that is a fish. Wow, look at that beast. That is incredible. Oh my god. 25? 25 inch Corbina, guys. No, it's a little, yeah, 25 inch. Uh -huh. What a fish. What a fish. Wow. That is a great fish. Congrats, John. That's awesome. This was a pretty, <laughs> pretty average day. Uh, <laughs> fish and Danny. I, yeah. It's kind of an everyday thing. 25 inch Corbina, uh, my seventh fish of the day. I threw a, a lot of the 20 inchers back. Figured I yeah. pulled out hope for this guy. <laughs> no, actually we I caught six perch today. Tiny little fish, but I was stoked. Lots of action. It was really fun. I, I was just thinking to myself, I don't need a big fish. These are really fun. I was having a great time. And then this thing hit right as I was done with reeling in and right at the drop off uh, where it gets a little bit deeper but really right on shore and it just hammered my paddle tail grub go paddle tail grub paddle tail grub hits again and and this thing hammered it so hard I was like what just happened uh, took me a while to get it in and uh, this is my first Corbina so thank you Danny for taking <laughs> me fishing uh, first this, Corbina and that's what yeah, it is yeah. Unbelievable. This is normal, right? <laughs> yeah, that's just average. <laughs> Super stoked. My goodness. I can't wait to eat it, Danny. How are you going to cook it? Oh, well, we can get a lot of meals it. out of this. Yeah? A lot, so. Right on. We'll have to think about that, but man, what a Super day. Super fun fight. I mean, it, it did not want to give up easily, so thank you for the fight. Uh, cool looking fish, right? They got these weird mouths, um, but man, it fought hard. Uh, and again, right on shore. Yeah. Super cool. Yeah. Super cool. Cheers, bro. <laughs> Thank you, Danny. Danny tells me uh, it's a well-deserved beer that he served me oh here my after gosh. a fantastic day of fishing. So I got to tell you guys, by now you know, hopefully you're watching all of Danny's fantastic fishing foodie videos. He's an expert fisherman. So John is clearly exhibiting signs of delirium here after catching that monster Corbina. He's also a really great guy, and I'm lucky to have him as my brother-in-law. 
He takes me fishing, you guys. I literally have no idea what I'm doing. All the gear is his. He rigs it up for me. He tells me how to fish it, and he just says, go. And I just get to go fishing. It's like having a, a professional fishing guide, and I never even tip him. But today- Yeah, we gotta change that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, uh, tips, tips coming up today. But he, he, he tends me out with this uh, paddle tail grub. Watch his last video, um, you can link to it here or something, I don't know how that works. But so paddle tail grub, he says, this is gonna be great. And um, I'm catching perch after perch, but I'm getting bites and not hooking them. And a couple times, several times, the paddle tail comes off. So you end up with this little grub with no paddle tail. And I, I bring it to him and he would change it out for me as my fishing guide. He just kept swapping them out three or four times. I felt real guilty, but he set me up, says this will be better. So I go back out and I catch more perch. Cut to later in the day. Uh, I noticed this was gone and I look over and he's snagged. He's having a tough day, he didn't catch anything. Uh, he's snagged and I'm like, I'm not gonna bother him. I'm just gonna keep fishing this. I've caught a ton of fish. I don't care if this doesn't work. So I fish this and I catch two more perch and I'm not telling him that I have no paddle tail because he would want to switch me out. I catch two more perch. He's snagged again and it's like, let's wrap this day up. My last cast, I caught this guy with no paddle tail on this grub. So I think we're onto something here. Uh, keep fishing them guys, yep. but this beautiful 25 inch Corbina I owe all to Danny and the paddle tail grub with no paddle tail <laughs> Cheers to that <laughs> There he is guys here's that 25 inch Corbina John just caught still twitching. That's how fresh it is just came back and uh, We're gonna put a well, we already put a measure on it, but we're gonna weigh him soon as well. Unfortunately, I couldn't find my scale, but I'm guessing it was like seven to eight pounds. It's this big. <laughs> All right, let's get to filleting. It's been a long time since I filleted a fish this big. First, we'll start by taking off the head. The collars offer some of the best eating on the fish, and the ones on this one are massive. If you haven't seen it already, check out this video where I cooked up the collars from a Corbina I caught last year. So in case you didn't know, Corbina, like most surfish, love to eat sand crabs. And I found five big ones in the stomach of this one. That's one fillet off. And that's the second fillet. Now I'm just gonna clean it up. And then I'm just gonna repeat the process on the other filet. And there you have it. That's a lot of meals right there. All right, so today we're gonna do something really special. We're gonna create an appetizer and a main course. The appetizer is gonna be crispy fried creamer potatoes topped with raw corbina, creme fraiche, and caviar. This is gonna be luxurious. So I've got one of the filets here and I'm gonna start slicing some very thin pieces. Then I'm gonna finally chop that up and set that aside. These are 10 small creamer potatoes that I've microwaved for about three and a half minutes. I'm gonna take each potato and smash it with a spatula like this and do that for all the potatoes. Then I'm gonna place the potatoes in some hot vegetable oil. I like frying in vegetable oil because it's got a higher smoking point and won't burn when it gets too hot like olive oil. That'll take about three to four minutes to crisp up. 
I'm gonna place them on a wire rack to drain any excess oil and lightly salt them. And then just let them cool off for a couple of minutes. Now we're gonna put our toppings on, starting with our finely chopped corbina. Then following that up with a little bit of creme fraiche. And finally our caviar, which is Ocetra caviar. All right. So we are having the Corbina. We're actually gonna be doing two things today. We're gonna be starting off with this appetizer. You know, nothing but the best for John here. So we've got our caviar topped Corbina, which is raw uh, on top of a fried creamer potato with some creme fraiche. So. It looks incredible, <laughs> like five star. This is amazing. Thank you, Dan. So, yeah, Super amen. excited. Cheers. Cheers. This wouldn't be possible without you. Mm. It Thank was you. so fun. A great catch, and uh, this is my first time eating the fishing foodie's amazing food. I, uh, one of his biggest fans, so I'm really excited. <laughs> this guy, he's the best. <laughs> he's the best. All right, well, dig in. Oh, it's so good. Oh, Danny, it's so good. No oh, man. I don't know how you got the potatoes so crispy, and yeah. the fish is mild but delicious. And the saltiness of the caviar is perfect. <laughs> the creme fraiche is creamy. It's delicious, man. Wow. That is a, just an excellent bite of food. <laughs> really good. Thank you. Mm. Are we gonna share? I'm finding you for these last two. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I forgot to thank you for making every future Corbina that I have. Pale in comparison to that one, so. I mean, come on, 25 inch Corbina, that's like, you rarely see that. Oh, I got lucky. Oh. It was exciting. Really yeah. fun. It was a really great day. I mean, I, I don't fish with you as much as I'd like, and uh, I was catching a ton of fish. That, that's what I'm here for. Uh, and then that happened, like, at the end of the day, and uh, was just amazing. And now I get to eat it. It's super exciting. Crazy. It's delicious. Crazy. This guy, I, I mean, I've, I've talked about it before. This guy, whenever I take him out to the surf, he's probably been out surf fishing with me less than 10 times. Yeah. He's already caught a legal halibut. He got a 20 inch white sea bass. And then this monster he just caught, you know, last week. I'm gonna take him surf fishing next week. So, t you know, stay tuned for that episode <laughs> because that's gonna be the episode where he catches a bluefin tuna from. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's the appetizer. We still got the main course, so. Stick around. Can't wait. <laughs> All right, now it's time for the main dish, which is gonna be butter sauteed corbina on top of velvety smooth mashed potatoes. I peeled some russet potatoes that I'm gonna boil in salted water until they're fork tender. Now I'm gonna put the potatoes through a ricer to get them nice and smooth. To really get that smooth texture and richness, I'm gonna add a whole stick of salted butter and lots of sour cream and just fold that in. Now it's time to start on the fish. I'm gonna portion it out for everyone. Then I'm gonna salt the fish, turn them over and then salt the other side. I'm gonna place some butter in a hot skillet and follow that up with our fish. I'm just gonna create a little bed of mashed potatoes on the plate and place our fish on top. There's not a lot of color going on with this dish, so I thought I'd use some edible flowers that we have in our garden to add a little color to the plate. All right, here we go for our main course. We've got the Corbina, which I just simply pan fried in butter. Um, one of the good things about Corbina, I think, is that it tastes so good naturally. You don't really have to do too much to it and it tastes really good. You don't have to bread it. You don't have to put all sorts of sauces on it. 
you can have a plain preparation like this and well yeah, relatively speaking plain, plain preparation <laughs> like this and it'll taste really good so i'm looking forward to this um and we served it over some pureed potatoes and we gussied it up with some uh edible flowers that we have here in the the backyard so it looks beautiful and it smells delicious well we'll see how it tastes can't wait <laughs> And if it doesn't taste good, we'll fake it for the camera. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's really, really good. I don't eat a ton of fish, so I'm trying to figure out what fish to sort of compare it to, but it's not fishy. It's It's got a nice texture, it's meaty and, and kind of rich. I mean, that's there's a lot of butter in there too. <laughs> it's yeah. really good. Corbina is nice and flaky. Yeah. It's not like elephant croaker or perch where I think the meat is a little bit more fibrous, kind of like crab. Here, the, the fish really flakes off in nice big flakes. Meaty texture. This is why it's you know, one of my favorite fish. Yeah, so. really good. I'd eat that in a restaurant any day of the week, man. Mm. Delicious. All right, well, hey again, thanks for joining us uh, for this whole adventure. It's great to have you out there in the surf because you catch amazing fish. I don't have to do anything. He's just going to come home with the trophy catches all the time. And I just have to cook. So it's really easy that way. Thank you for having me. Again, Danny, I mean, he does all the work and I just get to enjoy all the fun. And then I get to enjoy this amazing meal. So thank you, Danny. Yeah. Fishing foodie, guys. Like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe, <laughs> as John says. Um, and, you know, share too if you know somebody who'd like this video. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.